America, YouTube friends. My name is Mitch Harper. Welcome to my channel. Now, one thing I want to get into the topic of talking about today is just, you know, we should think of positive energy, positive way of thinking today, regardless of the stress of uh, workplace, being around people we don't want to be around, uh, transportation-wise, we still should be positive. I know it's hard, y'all, because sometimes, whoo, riding the bus or, you know, dealing with people sometimes, you know, that sounds like a kung fu match to me. But, you know, we just got to do what we got to do, you know? Positive always works. Kill them with kindness, like the song has said. Um, now, I just want to keep an update on that uh, Area 51. Um, I heard that it was, uh, uh, you know, trickery with somebody put promoting that uh, information out there to make you guys go and have kill it yourselves and you know hurt each other through all that craziness being in 51's uh, property you know I still don't think that's smart and intelligent to do that so please don't hit the area 51 it was a hoax um, and for the black girls that got kicked out of schools for 10 days on their feelings for homosexuality not want to be a part of it you know i don't see what's the problem with that why she got to get suspended because she don't want to be uh in, involved in something of that of that because that's not in her spirit like a lot of things on homosexualities honestly in america is that they've been pushed on them on that way because you know how mental people think you know what i'm saying they want to get off what they want to get off. They want to express their sexual desires the way they want to express their sexual desires. And some of us who've been um, put in that situation have to do it because of survival, um, because of uh, non-education, uh, because we just have to live. So I do understand that situation as well, too. But um, you can't force people to do things that they don't want to do. You don't want a homosexual in your house. You don't want a homosexual in your house. You don't want to be deal with homosexual. That's on you. But a person who knows themselves uh, and understands themselves knows that they can go in any situation and adapt. Uh, again, for those girls that get kicked out for 10 days out of the school. It's just ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? Because she don't want to have a preference of sitting there and listening to uh, different homosexual things. That's in her spirit. She does, she's not a homosexual, probably. Maybe she's felt uncomfortable. Or whatever the situation is, it's her choice. Certain things of that nature should not be forced on anybody. And <laughs> regardless, you know, that's what I think. Um, uh, you know, and another thing about black folks with the hate, racist comments and the people suppressing all that bullshit. Let me tell you this. I guarantee you. Since there's a whole bunch of money out there that you guys own and want to always take and have control of, shit, give me fifty, a hundred thousand dollars. I bet you I'll leave this United States forever. Cause our money is powerful over here. Just give me a hundred thousand dollars. I'll leave right now. You don't want me to hear. I'm not gonna go through that bullshit with cursing and fighting with people because of what color they have. How little small-minded it is. Just like your penis, small. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous to be acting like that, you know what I'm saying? Over somebody's color and when we all bleed the same and, be, and in our skin we have the same genomes. We have been helped by other aliens to be postured, upright, being able to learn and do things uh, on uh, all kind of levels and we still make ourselves less as an individual being biased and prejudiced. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Um, you know, again, it, it is crazy. We all be the same. All that is is just for greed and everything anyway. And it's not about color anyway, people. It's about money. This is what we have to look at. It's about who has the money, who has the bigger penny. That's all that bullshit is. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, this place wasn't really made for uh, black Americans, I can tell you just like that. We just here went in space. It, this place wasn't even built for us anyway. You know what I'm saying? This is why we have so much stuff going on 
hatred and stuff like that, you know, all kind of stuff that we see in the media and everything else that's going on out here. It's not made for us. So, hey, if you guys want us to get out of here because you want to have your cake and eat it too, unfortunately, it's not like that. Give us money. We'll leave. I don't care. There's a lot of places around this world that are beautiful. I'll go live there. Shit, at least I could get a house built for nothing and live my life over there. Hey, if you don't want me here, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? My cash app is PayPal me slash capital M, capital H, and the rest of it is A-R-P-E-R. -E All my, um, you know, cash app, Mantis 101, you know what I'm saying? Send me some money. I'll get out of here with no problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you hate me because of my color. I don't care if you don't like me because I'm educated and I'm a speak up because I'm a human being just like you are. I may not have money like you do, but I know how to carry myself accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, a lot of times all of that is just crazy uh, to, to throw people off like Donald Trump does. He throws people off. This is what you don't understand. You're so smart and educated, but you're stupid as fuck because you have anybody that comes in this country and run it any way they want it to because you want to pay attention to stupid bullshit that's petty. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to have hatred towards a person the way they run in the country, but you put them there. You put them there. So I can't say anything else about that. You put them there. You know what I'm saying? So hatred and all that stuff is, is, is crazy. It's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? I don't have general monies. I don't have properties. I don't have none of that. I just live in America as a, a, a modernized slave for minimum wage. I barely can save my money, which I do save my money. That's why I can ventilate on this stuff about a lot of issues. Um, you know, I don't know how to be more real than that. Uh, uh, it's just crazy. Every time you wake up, it's got to be uh, neat pins and needles when you walk around because you don't know what these people do. And you know what you'll do. You'll go to jail. Fuck it. I know my history. I can fight. I can do what I have to do to protect myself and my family and friends around me. So I'm not worried about that. Trust me, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But if this is the way you want all individuals to be, this is on you, the problem is on you. Because we're de-evolving ourselves to be in such stupid, petty, dumbass fucking shit anyway about color and race and all this other stuff just to be tangled and thrown us to the side on how we thought, think, of what's going on and what's right just to get some couple of dollars just to get more ratings it's a stupid bullshit that's on that's going on around here I, I mean it's ridiculous so if you want me out of here I'll take a hundred thousand dollars it's not a lot of money for you rich people who want to control anything anyway but you want me out of here you want to eat your cake and eat it too hey donate some money I'm out of here as soon as it hit trust me I'll find a way so I hope that uh you understand what I'm saying in this uh, video? I'm not prejudiced. I have never was prejudiced. I think all that stuff was stupid. It's uneducating and uninvolving, um, basically, to be this way. I mean, you know, be between all the history and stuff that we find out that we're uh, not the only ones, um, it's kind of babies, very, very baby and childish where a bunch of babies have attention tantrums running around, you know, just because they ain't having their mama's milk in their mouth or, you know, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? I think that's crazy. Um, on other things that I like this to talk about is basically this. I ain't gonna pay attention to all that craziness. Like I said, you know what to send me if you want me out of this country, straight up. Um, anyway, um, as far as uh, the chemtrails and stuff like that, we have to make sure that they stop that stuff because that stuff is killing us. Aluminum in the air is cancer causing agents that will fuck us up and kill us all. Doesn't matter what color we are, what race, how we feel, what religion, we're all dying because of that stuff in the air. So uh, you should be more concerned about that kind of stuff than concerned about petty it's about what color a person is um also uh we have a lot of uh different things that you know we should do in america to come up 
better greater as a whole. You know what I'm saying? For instance, if we wasn't so greedy like other countries and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Throw the rent, charge the rent like $200 less. Charge the tenants $200 less. That's a way to save money, help people save money to get the economy back. You know I mean, you have steady money anyway if these people are renting, paying rent on time. You have steady money. So just take off, just be generous to them and take maybe $100 off of rent, $200 off of rent. You know what I'm saying? Just for a couple of months or something like that. They give them freedom space. You don't have to always keep it that way. But just do it here and there. You know what I'm saying? If they're doing steady things as far as in paying rent on time, take $100 or $200 off of rent. Just show courtesy to them. Because I know they'll like that. And I know they'll keep renting with you. And it'll make them see that you care about their life and their well-being. That, um, and as far as in um, uh, the cleaning up the neighborhood, you know, we already know that we use the uh, the correctional facilities for inmates to do all that free work anyway. But, you know, as far as a neighbor uh, being a person, individual that loves yourself and your surroundings, go pick up something in the yard, on the street. Pick up the street. Make the area beautiful. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Croc battles. And stuff like that all over the street, that's not cute. That's not, you know, we're not a third world country. We're supposed to be not that. But again, the color and the cleanliness and how you treat each other and all this stuff pays a, a big fact. And then another thing on top of it, we're killing each other. We're worried about pettiness of the color. What about the food we eat? We have people going in the stores just licking ice cream like it's candy. You know what I'm saying? And putting it back in the freezer after they're licking it. Or drinking sodas or juices and drinking it and spitting it back into the bottle and putting it back on the shelf. This is America that we want to be in that does different things, that plays games with everyone's health. Because they're upset that they have a bad dime dealt in their life. Well, I'm sorry. That's not my fault. That's not anybody's fault but your own. You know what I'm saying? You take that to God and that's between you and God and God will get you out of it. Or whatever the situation is that you have faith um, and, and as far as uh, then the GMOs and food fluoride and stuff like that this stuff is unnatural do you, I mean what are you doing to us all we're doing us to us all as people is blowing us up making us look healthy but we dying inside I think that's crazy too you know what I'm saying natural foods it's not gonna make you lose any much more money and make you gain because then people see the richness and the realness in the food that they're eating and they keep consuming the gmos and you know putting stuff in the water and stuff like that it's crazy bro i mean you know all of the stuff we're doing in america to just save a nickel of diamonds fucking the people up from the inside out you know what i'm saying again it's simple things you're gonna do one if you want me out of this country because of my color, donate some money. I'm gone. No problem. You know what I'm saying? Then you could do all that other kind of craziness to other races and people. Because I know you do it to your own kind too. There's not as far as rich people, uh, all white people are rich. That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? The way you treat the less white people and the stuff that they tell me in my head is the same craziness that us black folks do. We don't have no land. We don't have no money. There's no general raising monies in our, in our families. And it's that we have conflict on our own light and black, dark skin. We're still black. We're still supposed to have love for one another. We're still black as a race. I mean, we don't pull together like we're supposed to. We don't do anything to help one another. There's a whole bunch of people in the street that I talk to, and they tell me their situation. I'm like... Well, I can't believe that's possible. Your own mother and father won't do nothing to help you. Your own sister or brother won't do nothing to help you. Your own friends, your dogs, your homies, people you think are supposed to be by your side ain't even trying to lift a finger to help you. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? There's no help, no love, nowhere in the United States. And this is a place to be a place of, of freedom and help and justice and all that other stuff. I mean, come on, folks. It's a bunch of scam. Look at it. Look at this. It's a scam. Nothing but a scam. All we doing is how long and how to build different types of scams. I'm going to just say it like that. 
That's all I can do, bro. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It hurts me as a human being to know that I have love in my heart. I care about a lot of people. I want the best things for all people, no matter what fucking color you are, because each individual is different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But you worry about all this petty little stupid shit because of the same human beings that surround you. Worry about the GMOs in the food. Worry about the fluoride in the waters. Worry about the stuff that you're eating. Worry about the people in the stores doing what they're doing out of spite and think it's fun. They make a train out of stupid shit. Worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Worry about the foundation of yourself in America as far as in what's going to make you survive and live on and keep doing the right thing for people in the future, your family in the future, at all things. Not stop being greedy and thinking about yourself in this timeline now. Worry about long, just a uh, longevity, long, you know, things that's gonna happen in the future. That's what you should worry about. You know what I'm saying? God has always made something happen very treacherous in every part of the world when something's not doing right. One, to his people who are Hebrew, real Hebrew, uh, uh the real uh, <clears throat> Jewish people, um, you, know, you know what I'm saying? That's when you're going to have problems. This, let's just take the truth. The real Jewish people, the black race that you keep doing things wrong to, God is going to always come in and do something horrible to everyone. You know what I'm saying? To prove a point. This is a history. So you just want this to keep going, coming on to us? You want this treacherous thing that's... God based God power coming down on us that we can't control. You know as well as I know we can't control none of that. You know what I'm saying when it comes to God. So we all playing games. You wanna to go to church and you wanna to go to the mass church and beat our head on the floor and praise God, raising and all that stuff and, and look we can't even do each other right? Come on bro, there's something cra cra crazy and twisted with that situation. Doesn't matter what religion you are, what color you are, all that bullshit is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? What we should worry about is the here and now. How we're going to uh, do our foods and drink and stuff to survive and, and live longer in the right way without health problems and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Let's wake up. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. God didn't make us to have to go to hospitals or live in hospitals. You know what I'm saying? Everything we naturally have in our body that he created is perfect. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to take shots. We don't have to take those um, uh, flu shots and all those other kind of stuff. We don't need to do that. Our body naturally does it. Only thing we have to do, common sense wise, is eat, drink water, clean up water, natural water, not flavored, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Eat fruits and vegetables. Um, eat food, different kinds of granaries and and. and and less meat. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We have to eat meat, some of us. You know what I'm saying? We'll eat a little less of it. Your health will stay good. We don't need a doctor to tell us that. We didn't have that in the past, but we need it now. Okay, guys, if you like uh, my station channel, uh, like and subscribe. Um, and I want you to check out the links below. Thank you. Um, be here to talk to you later. Bye.